Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, do an attack animation like this with the sword. So if the character do not have this sword equipped, when I press the attack button it will equip this uh, sword first and attack. So that's what I'm going to show you today. All right, let's get started. So to implement attacking, the first thing I need is animations. So here I'll select this slash animation, the, which one is this? So yeah whatever this slash animation and download it I don't need this key and I will put that animation in this uh, night character I'll actually that is a sword animation so I'll put this uh, sword I'll create this sword folder and put this animation just downloaded here with the night 2 skeleton all right let's see so this is the animation we just downloaded and then i have to define a new input for attacking so I'll go to my input settings here and in under the action mappings I'll add a new action called I'll call it light attack no I'll call it just attack no need to have a light part right and I'll close this one so I'll go back to my ch human character so this is the blueprint that I am working on the character blueprint and here I'll type attack so I got this attack input like this and to play this animation I'll create an anime montage like this and actually I'm going to I'm not going to use the upper body animation uh, upper body slot for that I'm going to keep this montage playing in default slot because I need the footwork as well in order to properly play this attack animation otherwise if I put this into the upper body section it will look awkward right now I, what I have to do is uh, let I'll play this animation montage play any montage like this and I'll put this sword and shield slash montage right so let's see if that works okay so if I just press this this animation will be played but the character would not have the sword in hand Oh wait, I forgot to define the key here. And project settings, again I'll go back to input settings. And under action mappings for action, attack, I'll use mouse, left mouse button. Right, now it should work. Yeah, you can see the animation is playing, but this character do not have the 
sword in hand so let's fix that so I'll make a branch here check if the sword is equipped if true I'll just play this animation otherwise I'll toggle sword oh I don't have toggle sword method defined because this is the action input so this is where I have to define toggle sword event so instead of defining it as a custom event like this so like this I'm not going to do this because this uh, if I define it like this as I explained earlier I need to have a concrete reference to this ch human class in order to access this method so to avoid that I'm going to define that in this BPI character interface that we have defined for other methods as well so here I'll add a function called toggle sword and I'll define an input to e define whether it is to equip or unequip if this is true it will be equip uh, the character will equip uh, if it is false it will false the character will sheath this sword and i'll put this into a new category i'll define it a uh, fight right compile save and here now i can implement that function I defined in the BPI character blur interface toggle sort actually instead of naming this word I think I should use toggle primary weapon or something but for now I will keep it as sword right so so I'm gonna collapse this section into a macro so that I can reuse the same function here as well toggle sword M right and I'll duplicate this part like this and connect this here and connect this one here all right now if this is not equipped so I need roughly like 0.5 seconds yeah okay actually I could use this same macro here but yeah no problem because we are in the same blueprint I can use the same thing and I need the output I need to connect this to this output node otherwise I will not have an output like this right so now if I press the attack button this character should first equip the sword and then play the attack animation like this wait what just happened let me check ah yeah the problem is this I didn't set this as true instead of sword equipped I'll make it equip it is more meaningful right now this should work okay 
this attack animation is quite slow and but uh, and uh, I'll fix that here with this play rate I'll make it two all right now let's see yeah that's much better but it is too fast I guess so I'll make it 1.6 let's see not very important you can all right okay so this is the attacking part and I'm gonna stop this video right here and the next part let's see how to implement combo and like no actually uh, let's not stop here let's uh, play another animation as well so it wouldn't take too long I have only spent about 10 minutes for now so I'll yeah I'll use this animation I don't need this skin all right drag and drop where's the folder right here drag and drop here night 2 import right create an a montage okay and go here so I'm gonna play this one first and the other montage uh, second and alternatively so how to do that well I can do something like this I'll define a new variable called attack count later we need this one when we define in our combos as well so I'll make this one increment like this before putting it not before after playing the animation I'll increment it like this and then I'll use a select node right here and I'll use the sword and shield slash montage as the first one and as the index I'll put this one so what is the next one a standing melee attack melee okay this one and I'll get the modulus of two of this attack count because this is going to increase more than two but uh, I have I have only two options so test this right now we have two kinds of attacks like this one after another okay that looks cool I think all right so that's all for today and see you in the next video goodbye